Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube's history. This is the dynamic Sean View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Go check out their stuff and go subscribe to that newsletter right now. Link source proof in the description of this video. The latest developments on The Undertaker, WrestleMania, and Bray Wyatt. Just when you think the WWE is going to go in the right direction, just when you think the WWE is going to do us fans right, well... Ah, this may be another dream match we've been wanting to see, but I don't think it's the one that we've been anticipating. As noted recently, WWE painted up some of their grant, uh, giant, excuse me, some of their giant WrestleMania 31 promotional tour buses with The Undertaker, which is said to be considered a strong sign that he will be working the show in some form. As of right now, the booking plan is to have The Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. As long as The Undertaker, get, as long as the Undertaker gives, gives word that he is willing to wrestle. There's also a chance that The Undertaker will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame next year if he is indeed done with his in-ring career. Although there has been talk for years that he would retire at Cowboy Stadium, which is the site of WrestleMania 32, since it will likely set the all-time attendance record. Regardless, expect Undertaker involved in some form or fashion during WrestleMania 31 weekend as he is under a seven-figure downside guarantee contract and WWE wants to justify the deal. Wow, I didn't know about that new seven-figure downside guaranteed contract. Now listen, The Undertaker versus Bray Wyatt would be a great story. It would be an intriguing way for The Undertaker to come back and Bray Wyatt would definitely... Uh, make this must-see. And The Undertaker and Bar Bray Wyatt would have great chemistry. There's no doubt about it. But listen, at the end of the day, the time is ticking. We're not getting any younger. The Undertaker and Sting are getting older. We need to see Sting versus The Undertaker at WrestleMania. We can have Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker at SummerSlam, at Survivor Series, at Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber. Have them be at one of the big four or five pay-per-views. Money in the Bank. Save that for something other, other special for The Undertaker. Don't ruin the moment. Don't ruin the match that the WWE fans want to see. Sting and The Undertaker. Now, I know there's rumors running rampant that Sting is going to step into the ring with Triple H at WrestleMania. Once again, a match that would be must-see. But in my opinion, if you're booking this and if you want to draw attention and bring new fans in and at the same time gain new subscribers to the WWE Network for WrestleMania in 2015, you need Sting versus The Undertaker. I'm not complaining about Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. However, I do complain if it's at a WrestleMania. But once again, if we do get the match, I'm sure it will still be special. It just will not hold the significance that Sting and The Undertaker would. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe.